We're simple creatures, really, and that's why we love the simplicity of an electric car. Think about it. An internal combustion engine is trying to harness the power of thousands of explosions every minute. Whereas the simplicity of a motor and a battery. What is not to love? But that doesn't mean that they don't need servicing. There are still parts like the brakes and suspension which need to be checked to make sure they're safe and an expert technician will be able to do things like check the battery conditions and install any software updates. Our trusty Nissan LEAF requires its annual servicing, so we thought we would follow the process to show you exactly what servicing an electric car entails. On the LEAF and most cars, your services will vary from year to year. You'll need one every 12 months or 18,000 miles, whichever comes first. The first checkup will be a smaller, cheaper and less complicated checkover called a minor service. Then the year after, you will need a major service. This involves changing the brake fluid and swapping the cabin pollen filter, plus a few other checks too, so it is a bit more expensive. Luckily for us, this year we only need a minor service. Let's see what you get for your money. First, the technician will check all the fluid levels, such as the brakes and screen wash. Then there's something called the reduction gear oil, which is sort of like a little gearbox. Next up are the brakes. He's checking the condition of the pads and discs all round. Electric cars are actually very light on brake wear because they use regeneration, to the extent that they don't use them enough sometimes and they can get corroded. Like these ones, in fact. Whoops, that's going to be added to the bill. There's also the tyres. Because of the extra weight and instant power of an electric car, they do tend to wear faster. You might not notice, so it's good that they get a checkover. They'll also be looking for bulges and cuts that could cause the tyre to fail unexpectedly. After another general check underneath to see if everything is good, the car comes back down to ground level and it's hooked up to a magic laptop. This allows the technician to talk to the car and check if it's running the latest version of the software. It will also check if there are any fault codes stored in the car's brain and allow him to have a look at the condition of the battery. From this, he'll generate a report which will tell us if we're looking after our battery and give us advice on how to extend its life and avoid degradation. Okay, so the car has now been checked over and this is actually, I love this part of the service. Aaron is currently now creating a video. He's doing a little walk and talk to explain to the owner exactly what needs to be done to the car to make sure it is fully serviced. You can see he's explaining all the different elements. This video will then be sent off to the owner and then they can approve whether or not they want the work to be done without having to be here. Absolutely love this. I think particularly for us ladies, coming for a service or an MOT can be a bit of a daunting experience. So this takes that element away. You don't have to be here. You can sit, watch the video in the comfort of your own home, ask people for advice and then approve the work if you want it to be done. So now it's done, the car is taken out of the workshop and sent off for a quick clean. Meanwhile, the service book gets stamped, so there's a decent record to show this is a car which has been looked after. Let's talk about costs. Now, to service the Nissan LEAF, it's going to cost for a minor service £159, a bit more for the major service at £209. But if you think that's going to be between 110 and 150 pounds cheaper than getting a diesel car service so you're in the money there plus you get a year of roadside assistance thrown in with the value of 230 pounds so all in all that is a bargain where do i pay sir so that's it our car is all ready for another year no oil no exhausts just a bit of a check over and a few top-ups and a chat with a laptop and it's all done now, if you want to know more about owning an electric car, switching to an electric car, getting an electric car service, or getting an electric car MOT'd, which is what is about to happen here, then head over to electrifying.com. And you know what's coming next. Subscribe to our channel.